Okay, perfect. Well, I'm Delaney. Yes, I'm Emma. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you, you guys. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, so we want to give universities a new structure for access to credible news and information. We want to do this by providing a subscription to higher education institutions across NATO member states to ground news. So Ground News is an already existing Canadian-based aggregator that pulls from 50,000 major news, pub news publications and sources globally from across the political spectrum, and it is then compiled into one central location, and then each article is given a credibility and factuality check by different independent monitoring organizations. Ground News itself doesn't actually do any of the reporting, credibility evaluation, or factuality scoring. They leave it to the three separate independent third-party news, news publication monitoring organizations who utilize trained analysts, lawyers, veterans, academics, et cetera, to provide readers with a straightforward way to compare reporting. Um, neither Ground News nor these three third parties have ties to any corporate media, big tech, or governments. And then we have the three companies listed on the slides here. That would be All Sides, Ad Fontes Media, and then Media Bias Fact Check. Yes, so we think that this is the best approach for effectiveness and sustainability because Russia understands the importance of garnering support from younger generations specifically. Their fire hose of falsehood seems to be targeting young people by spreading disinformation through social media tactics like internet bots and fake accounts. These strategies rely on fear mongering and historical revisionism. This is why we want to implement this within this demographic first. So this includes institutionalizing ground news into university structures, such as including it in curriculum for intro uh, introductory classes. It would encourage future cooperation between NATO and universities, which would provide students with opportunities within, inter within the international community, where they are also have, uh, where they were already have learned uh, the skills and ability to detect and protect themselves from disinformation. Uh, but this approach uh, has proven to be effective, um, an effective means of undermining global, so oh, sorry, Russia's approach, I apologize. The Kremlin's approach has proven to be effective in undermining global support for Ukraine. So this program, our approach, uh, would bridge the gap between getting universities access to actual information and NATO's already implemented strategies.